I grew up in a single household. So me growing up, I only had a mum, I never had a father. And my life, I can say, was the perfect kind of lifestyle. I used to go to the beach, man climbing, riding horses, until at the age of six, I was sexually abused. So because of that, really, it brought inside of me a sense of like insecurities. I became very addicted to pornography. But that was not everything. I remember Father's Day that just passed as well. In school, I used to see children asking their, like preparing their gift for their parents. And I asked my mom, I said, mom, where's my dad? Why don't I have a dad? And that's when my mom told me that she was pregnant. My dad didn't want me and he wanted her to do an abortion. And because she didn't want to, they split. So I grew up having a sense of anger, hatred. And that's when I even dived more in into pornography and I became very, very, very insecure and promiscuous as a child. I thought life was good, but it wasn't good because I started to suffer from spiritual attacks. So I couldn't be sleeping at night. I used to see shadows, hear voices, like a physical presence watching me all the time. It's like it was choking me in my sleep, but I couldn't tell anyone because people think I'm just crazy. One thing that really scarred me is that the fact that I used to get compared all the time to my little sister. So I tried to kill my little sister and my mom. I planned how I'm going to kill them, how I'm going to get rid of them. So when we moved to the UK, I thought, okay, do you know what? There's a new life, a new beginning. Everything's going to be different. It wasn't. I got introduced to different kind of groups and that caused me to be very, very fake. I was very fake. Depending on the group that I was, I had a different personality and I acted in a different way. In that way, I also started to be in relationship with people from other countries. One will be in America, the other one will be in Germany. And I was very, very promiscuous until I was introduced to the church by one of my friends. So when I came to the church, it was beautiful. I stayed since day one. However, my life didn't change for like a whole year because I was really, really fake. I remember I was really tired because I didn't know who I was. I didn't have a personality. And that caused me to be revolted. I said, Sarah, until when are you gonna be fake? Until when you're gonna be addicted to pornography? Until when? I had enough. I didn't want my life to remain the same. So the campaign of Israel came along and I decided to take part of it fully, 100%. I sacrificed my second bull. Literally, I gave everything to God. So I did all three sacrifices. So I did financial sacrifice where I gave all the money that I received because at the time I was working. So I gave all my wages. Then my physical sacrifice, I was evangelizing more. I was always in the church. I was very, very active. Not because I wanted to show people, but because I wanted to show God that he was more important than anything else. And I really wanted to call his attention. Then the spiritual sacrifice was the one that was really, really painful for me because I had to go inside. I had to let go of things that no one would see on the outside. So I had to let go of anger, pride, grudges. I was sleeping on the floor. I was waking up at different times, seeking the Holy Spirit. And then the campaign of Israel, obviously, it came along. So I got baptized in water the same day. And I remember the same day I said to God, God, today is the day. I'm not leaving your house without your spirit. I know you're going to baptize me. I know that I'm doing everything. I know that I gave you my absolutely soul. I gave you all. So I knew that God would have come inside of me. So when I climbed the altar and I presented my envelope, it was an indescribable experience because the Holy Spirit came upon me. I received the Holy Spirit and today I am completely different. I am happy, I am revived, I am I'm full of joy. I don't hate my mom, I don't hate my sister. I'm not planning to kill them. My dad, I forgave him. All my friends and everyone that was around me to try to fulfill me, I don't need that because I've got the greatest gift that everyone can receive, which is the Holy Spirit. And that was due to the campaign of Israel. One of the advice I would like to give to all of you that are going to be taking part of this campaign is to be revolted, give your all to God. Look, God is there, He's willing to, to change your life and to transform it. As long as you're there, that you want to keep holding up on what you have, nothing is going to change. But when the revolt comes inside of you and then you act upon it, sacrifice everything, make sure you do the three types of sacrifice, the financial, spiritual, and physical because that is your complete bull. That is your second bull that you're gonna to present to God. And I'm telling you, if you give everything with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, it is impossible that God doesn't honor your sacrifice.